Here we go, starting off CMC break number 11,446. We've got the diamonds from different years, 8, 9, 9, 10, 10, 11. It will be a good year, 8 feet, I assure you that. I'll be very careful to skip it this year. Very careful. Rookie Gems, Triple Diamond of Ilya Zubov for the Ottawa Senators. <laughs> Work hard. Get to know them at the shows and everything. It is uh, not an easy path. He's got to work hard and do all the right things. Double Diamond of Mike Madonna for the Dallas Stars. Come on, you. We've got a quad jersey of Andre Mezeros for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Tampa. Rookie Gems Triple Diamond for the Maple Leafs, Robbie Earl. Double diamond of Cam Ward. It's definitely not a small checklist, but the addition of what they've added really, I think, is going to give us some really good punch. We've got a premium cut for the Blue Jackets of Rick Nash. Quad diamond of Kyle Turris. Quad diamond rookie for the Coyotes, Kyle Turris. Jens, have a good night, sir. Keep well. We've got a Marty Turco double diamond for the Dallas Stars. Quad diamond of Joe Sackick for the Avalanche. Triple diamond of Alfredson for the Ottawa Senators. Double diamond of J.P. Dumont for the Nashville Predators. Is it okay? That's a fine line. I personally say no. We've got a quad diamond ruby of Kyle Turris, number two, 100 for the Coyotes. So the main reason why I would say be careful on that is because if you ever get a big card, it creates very big problems. Even if it, no matter how legit it is. Ma, Matthias Ritola for the Red Wings. So it's better just to avoid it. Double Diamond of Mueller for the Coyotes. You're expecting a Gordy. I would love to open that. A Gordy Immortal Inks. Yes, please. Do I go on other breaks? Negative. I just buy boxes. Triple Diamond of Nash for the Blue Jackets. Normally, if I'm doing the set, I'll buy a few boxes myself. And then I uh, just buy the rest by trades or other means, obviously eBay, whatever it is. Double Diamond of Martin Beron. We've got a base. Oh, no, never mind. We've got a jersey, Andre Markov. Quad jersey for the Habs. Triple diamond rookie gems of Goligoski for the Penguins. And a premier cut of Briere for the Flyers. And again, when I say don't go on other breaks, this is because of personal knowledge. I specifically remember one way back in the day, long, long, long time ago, where Brad was, uh, he got Washington in a random. And in that random, we had 5-6 cup, and he got the Ovechkin printing plate 101. And the amount of times, or amount of people that emailed us, there was a very split amount of people that were happy for him, and that basically swore that they, you know, Something was rigged, this is BS, blah, 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 blah. So after that, we basically kind of made a new policy that 
you know, if he's going to take it, for example, he would have to ask the room only if it's like a team that's been around for a while, which is normally Detroit. And he respected that rule and he did, you know, it was what it was. But it just avoids any of the fine line stuff. Double diamond of Sundin for the Maple uh, for the Vancouver Canucks. Tri triple diamond horizontal die cut of Stammer for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, very rarely, Sims. Qua triple diamond for the Leafs of Tyler Bozak. Generally, if we're buying on CNC accounts for uh, because somebody asked us to buy a card and we want to help them out. Triple diamond of Jeff Carter for the Flyers. But like, it's not like we're constantly buying. But, you know, if somebody wants a couple cards, sure, why not? Double diamond of Bob Bourne for the Islanders. I don't know what you feed on that one. This card had, this pack had two cards in it. What the heck? Triple diamond rookie gems of Matt Molesky for the Anaheim Ducks. It might eight feet, but we'll find out. We've got a quad jersey of David Booth for the Florida Panthers. Florida Panthers. Double diamond of Alexander Burroughs for the Vancouver Canucks. <laughs> it has to be beyond, right? The first one's infinity. The second one's got to be and beyond. And then I get a lawsuit against me. Triple Diamond of Esposito for the Rangers. Quad Horizontal of Scotty Bowman for the Pittsburgh Penguins. They were fun. I agree. Uh, this pack made up for it. Double Diamond of Ryan Smith for the Avalanche. This was the super pack that we missed out on earlier. Base. I might, uh, you know what, I honestly might one day peek it back into it. How do we start doing giveaways back in the day? Out of my own pocket. Literally took cards from my collection and encouraged people to join breaks. Triple Diamond of Jay Rosehill for the Maple Leafs. As I said, we sunk a lot of money into the company to get this thing going, so... Triple Diamond of Harry Howell for the Rangers. We've got a Triple Diamond Rookie of Ivan Vishnevsky for the Dallas Stars. The last pack had a lot of cards. That one had three. This is a weird collated box. Triple diamond horizontal die cut of Nikki Lidstrom for the Red Wings. And a double diamond of Johnny Busick for the Boston Bruins. Quad diamond of Marty Broder for the Devils. Yeah, two hours more, Dan. Double diamond of Cam Ward for the Canes. You like these ones, right? Okay. That's nice. We've got for the Calgary Flames, Quad Diamond Ruby number to 100 of Backland. Have we ever torn a card? I don't think so. I don't think we've ever had like uh, a QC issue type thing. And we've got a quad jersey of Carey Price for the Habs. The good news is where our placement is. And this is somewhat of a deliberate thing and obviously more of a uh, it makes sense to have it. Is we have our garbage bin, which is generally padded very heavily with a lot of packs, right below us. So anytime I ever drop a card or a pack, it literally 99% of the time will either fall into our cardboard over here or our... Nice soft pack thing on the right in the ground, so it's uh, very helpful. Like a quality control, kind of like wrecking something. Well, I think a feet's referring to the box. Double diamond of Dion Phaneuf for the Maple Leafs. 
Rookie Gems Quad Diamond of Nazim Kadri for the Maple Leafs. How are they? Well, because anyone can buy new boxes from dealers. Triple Diamond of Gabbert for the Rangers. But as I said, just remember, if you're buying from a non-store and you're buying from a Facebook group breaker and a card's damaged, you are SOL. Upper Deck will literally tell you sorry. Double Diamond of Franzen for the Red Wings. Whereas, if you're dealing with a store like us, you can get help on your card. People, mind-blowing how many people don't understand that. Peter Mueller for the Avalanche. So imagine opening up a Future Watch auto that's smudged of Quinn Hughes. You open that with a Facebook group breaker, they're going to tell you nothing. Sorry. Rookie Gems, Triple Diamond of Anders Lindback for the Preds. You open that with us, I can give you a receipt, it'll get replaced. Big difference between the two. Put a save you $4, exactly. Double Diamond of Brad Richards for the Dallas Stars. Gemography of Sergei Shirokov for the Vancouver Canucks. Triple Diamond of Mark Messier for the Rangers. Quad Diamond for the Flyers of Jeff Carter. Well, if you open it as a personal case, did you buy it? Did you buy it from a store? Rookie Jabs of Nick Johnson, Triple Diamond. And if you bought it from a store, they should be able to provide your receipt. A die cut of Luongo. Was he? He was Vancouver still, right? In 10-11. Double diamond of Tyler Myers for the Sabres. All the, so all the way it works, Brady, is they want to make sure you bought it from a store. Double diamond of Duncan Keith. So if you go to, if you buy it from us and something happens, I can provide you with an actual receipt. A Facebook group breaker does not have a business. He cannot provide you with the receipt. Quad jersey of Nash for the Blue Jackets. Um, so Brady, on that such a, such a thing, I know you might think there's a loophole. Store dealers are not allowed to technically deal with them. Triple diamond of Esposito, so like I could actually lose my CDD if I am knowingly dealing with the Facebook group breaker. Triple diamond, Ruby for the Vancouver Canucks, Daniel Sedin. Daniel Sedin. So that's the other thing. Like we are told specifically in the CDD, we cannot sell to Facebook group uh, group breakers. Now, don't get me wrong. Doesn't mean it's like non-existent. Rookie gems for the New Jersey Devils of Alexander Urban. And you have to also remember is at the end of the day, stores. I won't say we don't. Want, I won't say we want to get involved. Double diamond of Howard for the Red Wings, but like if I'm selling to some other guy and he's dealing with that problem, I don't want to be involved in it. And we've got number 1999 TJ Brody for the Calgary Flames. <laughs> Perfect. It's all good. But that's yeah, but that's also like it blows my mind how many people actually don't know that rule and have been completely screwed on that. Where they get a card in the you know a group break from a Facebook group breaker, and they get like again if it doesn't happen it's great it's almost like I know it's not like in a lot of places it's not legal but it's like saying I don't need insurance right because if nothing happens well you're great you didn't spend the money the problem is it's that one time that something does happen that you are sol double diamond of Mark Savard. But yeah, we uh, we definitely have been told on numerous occasions we cannot sell to group breakers, Facebook ones. Rookie Gems, Quad Diamond for the Oilers, Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall, Quad Diamond for the Oilers. Very nice. That's a good one.
We've got a triple diamond of Mike Green for the Caps. Double diamond of Backstrom for the Minnesota Wild. So there, some good knowledge for you guys for today. We've got a quad jersey for the Oilers of Glenn Anderson. Quad Joyzy for the Islanders. Rookie Gems Triple Diamond of Brandon Peary for the Hawks. Yeah, but I, I disagree with that, Dubnik. You're not you're not getting punished. You're you're the one making the deal with someone who shouldn't be selling. Double diamond of Bobby Ryan for the Anaheim Ducks. It'd be like saying you want to go buy a diamond engagement ring, but you went into some random non-approved diamond dealer. <laughs> That's kind of funny because we're diamond dealers. Ryan gets left triple diamond for the Anaheim Ducks and bought it from the guy's basement, and then you're mad that it's a fake diamond and that he shouldn't be doing that. At the end of the day, th these guys don't have stores. They shouldn't be doing what they're doing. Double diamond of Niemi for the Chicago Blackhawks. Quad Diamond of LaFleur for the Montreal Canadiens. They still come from Upper Deck. Rookie Gems Triple Diamond of Cody Allman for the Minnesota Wild. But you have to understand, I'm trying to think how I can put it then. Double Diamond of Patrick Marlowe for the Sharks. I think what Upper Deck's trying to protect is that... Uh, Hey, it's not big a fight. Opinions are always great. I love having debates like this. Quad jersey of Lanny for the Calgary Flames. It's also a legitimacy thing, right? They don't know what dealers or what Facebook group, group breakers have done to the boxes. There's that legitimacy issue. Triple diamond of Robitaille for the LA Kings. We've got a triple diamond rookie gems ruby of Matt Terramina. To 100 for the New Jersey Devils. Double Diamond of Luke Shen. Uh, if you are intending to open a store, yes. <laughs> Triple Diamond Rookie Gems of Arturs Kulda for the Winnipeg Jets. So what they're also trying to avoid... And I can tell you this, Chewy, and this is also one reason of maybe the analogy didn't work out too well. And for the Tampa Bay Lightning, 99 Dana Tyrell. 